Hello, Scratchers! In the last episode, we remixed Grid Patch's Scratch RPG into an MMORPG. Now, you can play with your friends, but all players look the same. How to identify them? Today, we will add a new feature to this game. The username of each player will be displayed above the character, and I will show you how to use the terminal to monitor the state of players. We will use Canvas and Terminal extension in Gandhi IDE. And now, here we go! First, let's open the project. It has been published in CoCorea. You can find the link in our Discord server. We also developed some useful Discord bot. For example, you can get a code analysis report of a Scratch project. We are still working on it. Come and try it. Ok, let's jump into the project. To display the name of players, I need to use the canvas extension. Let's install it. Click extension button and find the canvas. It's here, install it. Canvas is like an advanced version of pen extension. You can draw rectangle, triangle, circle, and curve with only one block. The most convenient function is drawing text. Finally, you can use this block to draw text on the stage in Scratch. In this project, we will use it. Let's do it! First, add a new broadcast event to the game loop. Use broadcast block and name it paint name. Use this block to draw text. The first input should be the content you want to draw. The next two inputs should be the X and Y positions. The content should be the name of the player. Use this block. And the name display should be attached to the character. Use the X and Y positions of a player. I can use this block and modify them. It should be noted that the coordinate system of Canvas is different from the one of Scratch. In Scratch, the origin point is at the center of the stage. But in Canvas, the origin point is at the top left corner of the stage. You need to convert coordinates when you use it. But we don't need to calculate. There are blocks for that. We can use this block to convert coordinate. To avoid the block becoming too long, let's create two variables to store the coordinate. The first one, name it name x. And the second one, name y. Set name x and name y. Then, put variables in this block. Now, this script could draw the name of the first player on the stage. We need to draw all players' name. Let's build a loop. Make a variable. Name it name index. Set it to 0. Use a repeat block. Draw a name for each character in the room. except for the player himself. Add an if-then block. The condition is like this. Then put this script here, and the input in blocks should be name index. At last, 
change name index by one. Let's make a block, name it name display, and run without screen refresh. Use the scrap to define it. Put the block here. Now, don't forget to convert the coordinate. Let's test it. Oh, it works, but it looks like there are some bugs. First, the position is not good. I want to display the name just above the character. Second, I want the name displayed in white, so that it will be easier to read in the game. Third, when a player is moving, the name will display like this. Not good. Let's fix them. Start from the position. The position of the text is decided by the left top corner of the box. If I want to make it above the character's head, I need to move it up and then move it left with half of it wide. But how can I calculate the width of a text? That's easy. I can use this block to get the width of a text. Now let's modify the script. Ok, down, try it again. Yes, the position is perfect. Next, change the color of the name. Use this block. and make it white. Run again. Hmm, it works. The last one, the movement effect is caused by painting names too many times. I can clear the canvas first each time. Use this block. Put it here. And now run it again. Great, it looks good. The name display is not too hard. Maybe I can add another feature. I want to use the terminal extension to make a monitor window. In this window, you can see who is connected to the room and who is disconnected. Let's do it. I will show you a demo. Here is a simple algorithm with a loop within another loop. If I want to trace the change in variables, I can use this block. Now, use this block to show the terminal window, then run it. You can see the log. Of course, you can change the color. 
Let's clear the window. And now run it again. Okay, back to the project. I will use the terminal to monitor players in the room. Show the terminal window. Then, when a new player connects to a room, log a string. When a player disconnects, log another string. Let's try it. Yes, it works. Then, I want to use the key to open the terminal window. Maybe I can use the key T. Find when key pressed. Select T. Then, put show terminal here. And now, we can open the terminal window with the key T. Let's publish the project. Run it. Great. Next episode, I will add a chat system to this project. What do you want to see? Tell me in the comment. I will try to make it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Try Gandhi IDE and join our Discord server. See you next time.